Now it's time to start a new phase in lawn maintenance. Spring has sprung in southern New Jersey, so now we're on the raking leaves, raking sticks up out of the yard, and aerating. So for that I pulled the trusty old GT16 out of the garage, usually my mowing machine, but it's time to get it going again. Okay, so that's about it for that today. I didn't do too much. Shoulders hurt and got a blister. Soft hands over the winter. I'm gonna dump that out in the woods and then I'm gonna hook the aerator up and just aerate the backyard here. That'll be fun. Okay, enough for that for the day.
Well, the idea was to get this out and put it right on the tractor, but every time I go to use it, the cheap tires are flat. I can't put the weight on it until the tires are inflated because I'll blow them right off the rims. So, it's over to the air compressor we go. In fact, I should bring an air compressor out here. That we can do. I've had this small compressor from Harbor Freight for years. It fell down, the handle broke off, I put another handle on it. I think I put these feet on the bottom because it vibrated all over the place. Um, I really have used this thing like crazy for doing stuff like this. Tractor tires low. Little tire like this. It'll pump it right up. No problem at all. I think it's at 60 pounds. And it holds air forever. The only time you have to put air in it is when it's below the pressure level you need. Twenty pounds. Twenty-two. I don't think the imbalance will bother it a bit. The tank's still at fifty pounds. That little bit of air, nothing. I try to put ball hitch receivers on all my equipment. That way I can just snap it right on. Keep a ball hitch on here for when I'm going to use my trailer. Makes it a lot easier for me all the way around. Now, you might want to know why I was backing in here for this silly thing. It's not way much. Well, it's going to in a minute. Weight is our friend. Makes a lot of noise when it's bouncing around all these bricks here. soil here has a lot of clay in it. it. Makes me laugh when I see the people rolling their lawns. I have to do just the opposite every year. Throwing the lawn is packed so much the grass won't even grow. But it's all part of the game. This gets noisy. Should have headphones on for this. soil here we have is very compact, a lot of clay in it, and it's one particular area where I'm standing. I walk back and forth every day for the chickens, three, four times a day, it creates a path. Also all the equipment comes through here, log splitter, carts, trailers, everything. So when I run the aerator over there, it takes these little plugs out, it's a plug aerator, similar to the ones you would rent at a, a rental store, except this one you just put weight on it and pull with the tractor. 
takes these plugs out. It's a short one. There's another one here that broke. It tends to break the soil up. It lets the moisture penetrate and lets some of the air into the root system of the uh, grass. I'm going to try to grow grass back in here. I try every year and in the spring it looks nice but the more I ride on it and drive on it it turns brown because it compacts again. Yeah, first thing in the spring I'll run the aerator on here and then when I put grass seed and fertilizer down later in the year I'll run it again before I do that and it seems to work. It's the only thing that keeps the soil loose. The flower gardens and the vegetable gardens that I worked on that soil for a long time. I mended it mulch, manure, everything. And it's, it's finally coming around now, but the, the soil here is really bad. It's another one of the plugs. I'd say it's about an inch and a quarter. Seems to work okay. Over time, the, those plugs break down and go back in the soil again. It'll look a little nasty for a couple of days, and the sun hits them, dries them out, and when you walk on it, they just disintegrate and go back into the soil. Been doing it for years and it seems to help. That's it for today. Thrifty Suburbanite, signing off.